What an episode. Watching episode five felt like a year passed by. It was intense, yet empty, confusing, and yes, it was the final. So let's see what has happened in this episode, shall we? In the beginning, we see Tedros is a mess after what happened between Rob and Joss. He's aware that he's losing his control on Joss, and that's not a good sign for him, is it? On the other hand, Joss seems to be doing pretty well. Her team is about to pay a visit, and she tries to motivate others to perform their best. When Tedros tries to be a part of it, Joss doesn't let him, and she says he served his purpose, meaning that he inspired her enough, and now she's done with him. Joss, I still don't like you much, but go, girl. She also knows that the way they met wasn't a coincidence, and in fact it was a setup because Tedros told Diane to bring her over to the club, and when he saw her he acted as if he wasn't expecting her to show up. No matter what, Tedros doesn't admit it and he doesn't leave the house. He says that she's talking to his people and they're his extension. On the other hand, Joss says, these are my people now. Well, hello? Is anybody considering asking them what they want, or are you just going to stand there and assume these are your people? Anyways, Joss decides Chloe, Ramsey, and Isaac to be her opening artists on tour, and Tedros tries to get Xander on his side by saying that he also has a talent, and what Joss is trying to do is to cut him off once again. Xander seems convinced, and he decides to sing too. When Joss leaves to get ready, Tedros acts like he's still in charge, and he keeps giving directions to people to clean up the place and get ready. I can see that he's desperate and he tries to find a way to gain his power once again, but it seems impossible now. The team finally shows up and people start singing one by one. Their voices are truly amazing and I love how different their styles are from one another. At that point, something terrible happens. Rob calls Leia and says that everyone is accusing him for raping Sophie. You remember in the latest episode, Xander took his pictures with her, right? I knew it was some kind of a trap, but I wasn't expecting this to happen. Xander seems pretty fine about what he has done, and as Joss hears the news, she immediately knows that it was Tedros's plan to ruin Rob's life and career. She talks to him and wants him out of the picture. But, as you can imagine, he doesn't accept it. So Joss goes to Hyam and tells him to pay whatever he wants so that Tedros gets out of her life. We all know he's more than willing and happy to do that, so he goes and tries to intimidate Tedros, but he's such a leech, and he just won't go. That's when security comes and takes him to Haim. He's waiting in the car and offers $500,000 to go away, but Tedros says Joss is worth so much more than the money and turns the offer down. So now it's time for plan B. Haim goes to see Vanity Fair reporter Talia and asks for her help. Then we see it's six weeks later. Apparently, Talia exposed Tedros's real face, and all I can say is I'm glad it happened. Nikki, Haim, and Fink are pretty about that, too. How wouldn't they? Tedros was a major obstacle and a threat for them. But it's not over because we learn that Joss left an artist pass for Tedros, so he comes to see her. We see them spending some time together, and what we also see is the tables are definitely turned. Joss seems so much more confident than ever, and she acts like she owns him. Tedros, on the other hand, is fragile. He lost his power on everything, and more importantly, thanks to Talia, everyone knows what he did in the past. Now, I have to say this, their relationship is the most toxic thing I've ever seen, and I hate it. After their boring scenes, we see that Joss is finally on stage, and the crowd is so hyped to see her. You know what she does next? She decides to introduce Tedros to her fans, or as she says, her family. She also calls him the love of my life. As they share a kiss in front of the crowd, Joss says, You're mine forever. Now go stand over there. Tedros follows her orders and goes away. And that's the end of the story. Like I've mentioned earlier, this episode was intense, but it was also pretty blank. It feels like we've watched a series of incidents, and in the end, we ended up where we started. The only thing that has changed by now is that Joss is in control, and that's it. Fortunately, the show is over, and we no longer have to see those toxic people ruining everything and everyone around them. What do you think about the show in general? Do you think critics and viewers were too harsh while criticizing it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. See you soon.